Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. I've had a lot of people ask me about the Anchor uh, Powerhouse 767 that we're now offering and just kind of real world scenarios on how it would work and a lot of people asking specifically about with a trailer or an RV. So I came up for the weekend here, had to get a little bit of work done. I brought an Anchor with me and I did a, a few different tests. I'm going to show you based on our scenario how I'm, how I'm using it and I'm quite pleased with it. So right now, uh, as an example, got just under sorry it's it's we're pretty bright here just under 300 watts going in uh there we go just over 300 watts going in of solar two of our 220 watt solar blankets are there right now uh charging it actually there we go it's going up about 320 watts right now we've got haze coming in because we have this is the time of year where we get a bunch of snow even though it's considered spring we can get one two three four feet of snow uh not all at once but uh usually over the course of a couple snowstorms and then it all melts within a day or two. But what I'm going to do for my scenario, I would be using this for heat and you can probably hear the heater running in the background. And then I don't use a microwave, but I'm going to run the microwave and show you guys as well too. And then I'll give you a little bit of the technical uh, data on this. But here, let's just display there. We got 324 watts going in. I don't know if you can see, it's just... 325 there you go 327 so let's plug the trailer in right now so that's it turn it on there we go just kicked in so we got 440 watts coming out sorry guys it's just with the, where the sun is it's 427 watts going out running the furnace and then 315 watts going in from the two 220 watt solar blankets. Um, what I'll do is I'll go turn the furnace on. These plugs, the AC plugs are rated for 2400 watts. But let me go turn on the furnace, or sorry, the, uh, the microwave, kind of give you a rough idea if this is something you would be doing as well. Let me just take my shoes off. So I'm gonna run it for 45 seconds. That way it gives me time to get outside oh whatever 48 seconds there you go that's running okay so let's now see what is it doing display there we go 2000 2032 watts going in are being consumed and then 317 watts 319 from our solar charging this so a bit of, a bit of uh, technical data on this unit and we'll see it kick out here in a few seconds once that uh, microwave turns itself off uh, battery capacity on this it's 2048 watt hour so it's a good size battery pack um, it is expandable so you can add a secondary battery pack and that's actually right here is the port. Uh, you do have your standard um, wall plug-in, which is right here. I do like the fact, and I'll show you the cable in a moment, that they don't do the power brick like a lot of companies do. And then here is your, your solar charging. So it's 11 to 32 volt at 10 amp and 32 to 60 volt at 20 amp. They do say that this is rated for um, 1,000 watts, but you are limited a bit in voltage on that. We do have a few different packages available. Oh, here we go. So right now we're at seven, just over 700 watts being consumed, 325, th almost 330 watts going in from the 220 watt solar blanket. So that's just with the furnace running right now. Here, pardon me, I should unzip this earlier. I'll show you the cables and everything here. So everything that comes with it, you get a manual, of course, uh, here is your standard power cable. Like I said, I'm happy it doesn't come with the brick style like Blue Eddy and Jackery and Goal Zeroes and a few others do. I just think that's a waste and they're loud and noisy. Here's your standard plug-in. So if you want to uh, charge this from your, your vehicle, from the cigarette lighter plug-in. And then here's their solar charging cable. So you've got it's uh, XT60i and then female here. I don't love this cable uh, just because I don't like how these are exposed. So hoping they might change that in the future. Any of the packages that we're going to be offering with our solar blankets, uh, we will have a cable included so you don't have to use that if you choose. 
but uh, yeah, no, that's it running right there. Um, a few things to go over technical wise. So it does have 12 charging ports. So four AC, one uh, RV plug right here, three USB type C, which you can see there, two USB, and this I do like. So you do have your car socket or DC port. So basically one of these guys or two of these guys. The reason I like these, um, let's say there's a grid down situation as an example. Here, let's do this. I'm just going to turn this guy off. Let's unplug it. And then you can see it here. Possibly. There we go. So no power coming out and then 300 and almost 30 watts going in from solar. 329 right there. Yeah. So um, the reason I like these ports. So let's say we have a grid down situation. Most people are concerned, of course, of keeping fridge freezers running. Uh, your standard fridge is quite power hungry, even the new ones. Uh, they are quite power hungry. I've got three overlanding style fridges, two Iscos and a Dometic. Uh, they're all dual zone. One's a 90 liter, one's a 75, one's a 65 liter. If the grid was to go down, one of those would run for, I'd have to do the math on it. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to do a guesstimate right now, but I'll put it in the, uh, I'll, I'll, when I post up the video, I'll make sure I do the correct math on it. But I believe it's at least 10 times the amount of, of time frame that it'll run compared to, let's say a regular size fridge. Granted, you have a little bit less space, but they're just, when you're, when you're running off of DC like this, instead of AC, it just requires way less power to run. So it's just nice to have that ability with it. Uh, we will be offering, uh, packages. So I'll have those in the description below, but I'm just trying to think of what else to mention regard this. I, I didn't want to get too technical. I, I just wanted to show some real, you know, real life use, uh, based on how we use it. Uh, some other things that it does have, it does have a light right here. Some people might find value in that. I don't think I'd ever really use it. It's handy, I guess. I do like the fact that it does have a pull-out handle here. So that makes it easier for moving around, plus, of course, the wheels. So that that's a big benefit as well to have that. Other than that, uh, very well built, very solidly built. They do use the newer battery styles, so you will get 3000 life cycles out of that. I think that's quite important. Uh, the weight on it, I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure. So I'll verify. And if I make a mistake, I'll, 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 uh, I'll make sure that it's in writing in the, in the video, but I believe it's 63 pounds. So it's, it's not horrible for what it is. Uh, other than that, we do offer packages just with the anchor on its own. And of course, with one, two or four of our 220 watt solar blankets, this is one of our 220s right here. Give you an idea of size nice and small uh portable deployable uh doesn't take up a lot of space so and the reason we're not doing and i don't want to get all technical but the reason we're not offering this with three of our 220 watt solar blankets it comes down to their their connector and the voltage so we're limited by voltage on that not that that's a big deal anyways but um other than that definitely you know any questions my name's rennie i'm the owner of the company uh any questions uh definitely let me know i'd be happy to answer them for you uh we do offer several packages i know anchor did sell out of these uh not that long ago i believe they're ready to ship again on the 5th of may so if you're looking for something immediately we do offer other packages that could work very well for you as well too i do think anchor did uh check off a lot of the boxes i'm actually quite impressed with this unit is it the best one out there i i wouldn't say that but it does tick off a lot of the boxes out there uh, on what it can do and they've done a very good job and i think they're going to make a lot of people happy that that do purchase this i know on our website they're just under two thousand dollars um, and we, like I said, we do offer packages. I'll make sure those are going to be in the links below. If there's something you see that we don't carry and you have any questions on that, just let, let me know. And I'd be happy to answer any questions for you or put together a custom package for you. We are tradi tr traditionally shopping or uh, shipping. I mean to say our two tw or any of our solar blankets, we do have them in stock and they are traditionally shipping within about three business days and approximately the same for any of the power stations unless listed differently like i said anchor right now they're out of stock so they won't be able to ship until i believe it's the fifth of may so that's that's not too too far away so yeah other than that guys uh let me know if there's any questions i'll get this posted tomorrow and by the way where we're at right now to give you an idea for the solar results that we're getting we're in canada and we're just laying these flat on the ground here. It is end of March. We're at 51 degrees north latitude. So for us to get 
two 220 watt solar blankets that we're producing just under 330 watts was the max that we saw now we're at 300 that's actually really good for this time of year because of where we're located if we were someplace let's say like arizona vegas or what have you where the sun is directly above us then yeah we're, we're going to get much better readings based on that but yeah okay um i will let you go enjoy your day and i will get this posted yeah solid product happy with it it's it's uh, a lot of people are going to be happy with this okay we'll talk to you soon guys bye then